<clears throat> and I'm going to put an A where the bicycle was coming from. Yes, sir. Is that okay? Is it right here? Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Sure. Let me and, whisper into the And I'm going to draw if I'm going to draw an arrow with A's path. Is okay. that okay? And if I draw it from where A is over to here? Going southbound, correct. Is that correct? Okay. Correct. Now, in relation to the bicycle, where were you traveling when the bicycle came by? I would have been... Right here? As, no, as he traveled by, he was behind me. By the time I saw him, he was already behind me. Okay. So I would have been on the east side of where the bicycle is. Okay. So you were maybe here? And yeah. if I put a B here, that would be... Accurate? Yes. Okay, so you were at point B when you saw the bicycle in your rear view mirror. And did that raise an eyebrow before the call came out of a robbery? Yes, it did. It raised an eyebrow. Okay, because he could have been fleeing from anything, right? Could have been. And bicycle leaving the alley. It's dark outside. There's no lights on his bicycle. I don't know what he's doing. It okay. immediately throws up red flags to Okay, me. fair enough. Um, but nonetheless, you, you continued eastbound, right? Yes. Okay. And I'm going to mark where you were when you saw him as B1. I'm going to put B2 where you stopped. And is this an accurate place of where you stopped? If we're, if we're marking it, sir, when yeah, I first saw him, he wasn't at the end of the alley. He was more towards the north side of the alley. Okay. I, and, and Does I, that make and, sense? And I actually am just drawing his path. In okay. fair I mean, that's, that might be where I initially saw him. I know him. it all happens in a blink of an eye, right? You, you, saw, you saw him coming by. By the time he was there. crossing M Street, I was already to the, the stop sign, basically. Okay. Okay, and eventually you ended up here at the stop sign, Sorry. correct? Yes, sir. And I'm going to put a B2 at the stop sign. And then this is when the call comes out. Right? Yes, sir. This is when it's a robbery, it's, hit, it's hitting the fan, I got I to gotta go check this guy out. That could be him, right? Yes, sir. And so you try to keep an eye on him by looking over your shoulder, yes, right? Sir. So you don't lose track. And where does your path lead you to? I was doing more of a circle. I didn't go straight and then take a hard left. Okay. I kind of circled almost. I went. Where did you? I circled up? more south and then came back around. Does that make sense? Okay, so you came this way. Yes. Okay, so you came this way, and then did you come back up? This I way? was even further. I was further west when I started doing my U-turn. Okay. As in, I I did a pretty big circle to ensure that I made my my turn and made it. Tell you what, let's make this easy. Judge, can, can I show you step you down and just point this out? You all right with that, detective? Sir, yes, sir. All right. Thank you. Just just point it out, and then I'm going to draw it. Basically, I was stopped here. Yeah. And to ensure that I was going to get to the lane I was trying to, yep. I went all the way down. Okay. And I was going to make a complete circle and come back. Okay. So to so I didn't try to do a U-turn and end up here. I right. was making sure that I got all the way around. Okay. Now, where where was it that you almost collided with um with John? By the time I saw uh -huh. Mr. Masters, he was somewhere in this vicinity. He was right here, and I'm going to put a C to represent John, and where you testified he was standing, okay? He was a little, that bit, fair? a little bit further down here, but... All right. Do you, do you know? Do you remember? That's accurate. It's, as, far it's, as, as far as when I saw somewhere, him, somewhere the, the depiction of this map, yes. Okay, fair right. enough. So I'm going to draw the thing just like this. Is that is that accurate? I don't yes, want to misrepresent anything. Yes, sir. So I'm going to draw your path up to here and put a B3. Yes, sir. As best as I can. Okay. You can return to the witness chair Thanks, right sir. now. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, so you're driving down M. You see this bike. It gets your attention. It could be anything. could have been a dope deal. It could be a guy running. could be anything. Then, bam, the call comes out. Hey, that's our robber. Let's go get him. I got to get here quick. And Detective Browning yells, stop, basically, to you. Yes, sir. Okay. And then, then he yells at John to get out of the way. Yes, sir. Right? And does he yell, get the fuck out of the way? Not, to, you not that I remember, no. Not that you know him, No. Right? Okay. But you definitely heard him say, get I definitely out of said, the way. get out of the way. And he didn't say, hey, police, get out of the way. Yes. We got to go. Okay. Anything like that. Fair enough. Then, where was your path? Did you go around them then? 
that's where I'm not 100% sure okay. if I actually put it in reverse or I just cut my wheel and ran around, went around them. Okay. However, Mr. Masters did not move. Okay, fair enough. I just he drove around. I mean, he didn't move. He stopped and he put his arms up in the air, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, now you said a threatening man. Let's talk about a threatening manner. If someone comes up to a person and just has their hands in the air, that's the general sign for surrender, isn't it? Well, well it could be a general sign for a lot of things. Okay, all right, fair enough. But that to you is threatening, right? Just putting your arms up like this is not threatening. Okay, what did, I mean, that's what you said on direct. What did he do? As in, I mean, he threw his arms up kind of in a bent. His arms were bent mm -hmm. and leaned towards us and was moving his body in a threatening way. Okay, yeah. okay. But he wasn't coming at like this, right, with a fist, right? No, sir. He didn't slice across his neck with his finger, right? No. And he didn't make a gun point and shoot at you or anything like that. But not at all. he made a threatening gesture by pointing his arms up in the air and just kind of a posture. Right? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Now, right when you were going to go continue to go westbound on M to chase this bike, the call comes out, it happened in 5th District, right? Yes, sir. And that's when you decided that John was more important than the bike? Is At that, that point, yes, sir. Okay. I had no idea what that bike was doing. He just okay. came from the store. Okay. So you, did, you didn't know what the bike was doing, but you knew that John was angry. Right? Yes. Okay. So you went to get out and see what was up with John? Yes, sir. Right. Okay. Now, where where did you park your vehicle? Can I approach you? Oh, please. Yes. After I went around Mr. Masters, about here is when I figured out, hey, the call's nowhere near. Okay. I came to complete stop over here. Okay. And kind of in the middle of the roadway? Uh, yes. It was okay. more on M Street, but still... Part of the tail end of the car was in force. Okay, but you didn't park it. You came to a stop, right? Right about here? Uh, yes. I don't want yes. to misrepresent anything. No, yes. Anything. Okay. So you were here. And then where was John at that time? At that time? Uh -huh. I, I mean, I lost sight of him for a second. Okay. But as I'm parking the car and I'm looking back over my shoulder, he's now no longer here. Mm -hmm. He's closing the distance between us. He's actually sprinting from here to where I'm parked. Okay. Like I said, I lost sight of him for a brief second, but when I look back, he's free. Okay. So, all right, fair enough. Now between, between this point where C, or where, uh, where B3 is and B4, did you, did you say anything to, um, to Detective Brown? No, sir. Okay. <clears throat> And we mentioned that he told you stop when you almost collided with John. Did he say anything to you? Other than stop, watch out. Oh, he said stop, watch out down where B3 is. Yes. But between there and B4, he didn't say a word. Not that I recall. You just stopped. Yes. Right? Yeah, without okay. talking to Detective Browning, I stopped. Okay. And then you got out of the car, yes. right? And so he was actually approaching you... Um, from the back of your car, yes. right? Okay. Kind of and the back, back side, but yes, yeah, more the, so from the well, back yeah, and the not, front. Not straight on, but yeah. kind of diagonal here and in the intersection area, and he was coming at you. Okay, fair enough. You stated you thought he was going to shoot you, right? That was just my initial thought was okay. he's coming to kill me. Okay. Now, you, you said that he was threatening at this point in time, correct? Yes. Okay. Now, when you go through the academy and you go through your training, you always talk about tactical advantage, tactical advantage, tactical advantage, yes, sir. tactical advantage. Okay. Now, wouldn't it be more tactically sound for you to have turned around and faced him? It would have. Okay. Yes, sir. But you didn't have time or? Didn't have time. Okay. Because you thought he was going to run and bang on your car or you thought he was going to? I was just going to get out and talk to him. I. I mean, I was just going to get out, park the car, and say, hey, man, what's going on? And at that point, which I was trying to exit my vehicle, he was already on top of me. Okay. So at this point in time, was, you didn't have, I mean, as you told the direct, you didn't have any um, any reason that you were going to arrest him for, right? You weren't going to do anything. You were just going to get out and talk. Yes, right? sir. Right? Okay. He 
he ended up right about here? Yes, sir. Or I'm going to put C2 is where he ended up. Okay. And I'm going to put you as D1, or just D, actually, because okay. I think I'm going to have my description there. Right here. I mean, yeah, I mean, I was basically still. You're, you're not the same size as the car. I was still that. inside. Oh, you're still inside. I was still inside the driver's door, okay. basically. Fair enough. I'm not going to put anything back because you were still in the car. Okay. Now, it was. It was dark and rainy, right? Yes, sir. What are the lighting conditions there? Uh, there are some street lights. They're not very good. They're not good. So it was, no. for the most part, it was dark. I mean, really, you had, had some glow, maybe, and, and your headlights. And that was, that was about it. Yes, sir. All right. And you were in the driver's seat, which is on the left-hand side, obviously, and Detective Browning was on the right-hand side. Yes, sir. Okay. Detective Browning had his badge out, yes, right, sir. on his chest. You didn't though, right? That no, was on my hip. Okay, it was on your hip. And Your Honor, can I approach and, and grab a exhibit, please? Thanks. And I'm gonna approach you with plaintiff's uh yes, sir. one. And I mean that's that's a sharp looking guy. That's you, isn't it? Okay, yes, sir. fair enough. And that's how you appeared on the night in question. Yes, sir. Correct? And you said you had um, an academy t shirt on, yes, right? sir. But you can't see it's not an academy, that, not in that picture. You cannot, no. And you said you had a badge on your hip, yes, sir. But you can't see you cannot. The badge isn't readily identifiable, okay, yes, sir. Fair enough. And you said you had your gun on, right? Yes, sir. And that's not identifiable either, it is not. Right? Okay, kind of approaching. The only thing it. identifiable oh. there is my police radio, right? And it doesn't say police no. on it, though, right? It looks like a black box, it's a radio, right? Okay, fair enough. And this car you were in, it was plain white, correct? Yes, sir. No police markings, right? No, no, no markings. lights or anything on it? Uh, there's lights internally that when I hit the switch, they come on, but nothing visible from the outside. Okay. And you didn't turn those on? I did not. No, sir. Okay. And those, are, those lights are in there to alert people that you're the police, yes, right? Sir. Okay. So... You, Okay, your badge wasn't visible, Detective Browning's badge was visible and out. Okay, and so let's talk a little bit more about the incident. John's running towards you. You're yelling police, police, police. And as a matter of fact, that's what you've maintained all along. Yes, sir. The old police, 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 police. Okay. Now, we touched on it a little bit in training. There's more to verbal commands than just yelling police, 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 right? Yes, sir. Get back, get back, get down. Put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. Okay. But you didn't say any of those things, did you? Not at that time, no, sir. Okay. Now, you mentioned on direct examination that at some point in time, you did say you're under arrest. Yes, sir. Correct? <clears throat> now, you, you created a report r regarding this incident, right? Yes, sir. Okay. And we talked about how important it is to write every detail in your report. Yes, sir. Correct? Your Honor, may I approach a witness well, with a... Hang on a second. Oh, certainly. Mr. Price, what do you... Uh, have any comment about this? I'm not sure what we're talking about. Certainly. Can we approach? I don't know. Yeah. Don't uh, know. Bring what you got. What is it? What is it? It's impeachment. Oh, um, I know that. I just want to know what the document is. Oh, it's, it's this police report that he created. All right. All right. What about it, Mr. Price? Do you have any comment about the police report, the investigative report, and the witness is the author of this? Correct. I'm not sure if you've seen this is, but this is, is, is this testimony given in, in which proceeding? Is it, is it, I mean, is this? It's not, I don't even think it's testimony. It's, it's a report that he created. 
So. Okay. Yep. Okay, and this is of this incident. This is, I'm sorry? This is the police officer's report regarding the incident. I believe it is because it says I, I, I throughout mm -hmm. when it's talking about him. 